Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joseph Novich, Senior Analyst at GDMFX with the Morning Outlook. Starting with the Aussie dollar, uh, it dropped uh, to uh, with a 0.6% against all of its 31 major peers after Reserve Bank, Bank uh, Governor Glenn Stevens said the currency was overvalued uh, by most measures. And, uh, the Aussie also declined after the retail sales unexpectedly fell in May. Right now, uh, you, we're looking at a price of 0.9365 uh, versus the US dollar breaching the May uh, 28 uptrend. Uh, the dollar, uh, US dollar itself, uh, rose for most an eight week from o uh, almost the eight, e eight week low against most of its major uh, peers as stronger than forecasted private jobs report, uh, boosted optimism that non-farm payrolls data later on into the US session may show a uh, strengthening US economy that is getting traction. Uh, the US dollar rose against the yen uh, for a third day. Right now, we're looking at a price of 101.9 yen per dollar. The euro uh, dropped to 21 month uh, low versus the uh, pound after the French Prime Minister uh, of the uh, European Central Bank uh, needs, uh, said that uh, the uh, European Central Bank needs to go no further to weaken the shared currency before policymakers meet, meet in Frankfurt. Uh, now, uh, uh, the greenback remains high. Uh, as the Federal Reserve uh, China, uh, Janet Yellen said, there is no need to change monetary policy to address financial stability. Uh, quote. Now, uh, right now, the euro dollar is uh, steady below the 33% retracement level, which is also uh, a uh, respectively major resistance level around 1.3656. The British pound uh, arose for a third day versus the euro after a report uh, showed UK construction growth uh, accelerated in June, adding to signs of strength in the US in the economy. Uh, it also went up uh, to the highest level against the dollar in five years. Now, uh, a strong uh, 45 degrees angle, what we can see on the chart for 10 months now. Gold in the commodity sector declined uh, uh, from a three-month high before employment data may show today U.S. economy is gaining momentum. The precious metal went down with about $10 yesterday in the trading session. Right now, it's traded above the support level of 1318. If broken, we might see prices close to the pivot of 1300. Now, uh, West Texas Intermediate also fell for six days, the longest losing streak since May 2012. On speculation, of course, that crude supplies will uh, increase after Libyan rebels agreed to uh, hand over to export terminals and also the Iraqi output remains safe. The commodity went down with about uh, $1.5 in yesterday's trading session. Now is uh, uh, bound for a correction. And given the fact that uh, Thursdays are a very strong on news day, uh, we would prefer to see the data coming out later into the US session before uh, placing any orders. Uh, that's all for me. Uh, please observe the, ec the economic calendar. It's a very important day for US and Europe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.